Hey guys, welcome to How Tuesday, where every Tuesday I will be teaching you how to do something that I may or may not know how to do myself. Now, this week, thanks to the suggestions of Slotsalot and Wing Trish, I'm going to be teaching you how to grow your own facial hair. Now, there are like a million products out there that are meant like specifically to jumpstart hair growth. But personally, I like to use these little things, um, mustachios, which they look like those peppermints that you get at the store that like you fill up a bowl at the front of your house at Christmas time and people like take some as they come in or leave or whatever. These are not those peppermints. Um, they look like them, but they are mustachios. You can find them in the nut section of your grocery store. That's why I like them. They're easy to access and they're easy to identify because of the barbershop pole sort of pattern. The one problem with mustachios is that in order for them to grow, you need to trick them into thinking that you're a hipster. Now, if you're a hipster, then disregard this tutorial altogether. Get a mustachio chuck it on the counter and go to sleep and wake up and you'll have a mustache plant because you're that underground already. But for everybody in the mainstream, what we're gonna do is we're gonna trick it. We're gonna fool it into thinking that we are underground, that we are hipsters. So step one is get a mason jar and fill it with soil from somewhere that you've never heard of. For me, I collected this soil from a bike ride through the countryside of Oregon. What you're gonna wanna do is just Get that mustachio and plant it right in the middle and cover it up so that no one can see it. No one knows where it is. Plant it so that it's so far underground that you can only find it in the back end of Riverside Boutiques in Portland. So instead of fertilizer though, I use a homemade mustache wax. It's made from beeswax, coconut oil, honey, and the sweat of a lumberjack I met at the organic market where I got all the ingredients. So now what you do is you apply a thin layer of fertilizer. Now, technically that's all that a mustachio needs in order to start growing, but here are some more tips that'll promote some speedier and hardier growth. Now, wherever you end up placing it, surround it with small, unimposing knickknacks you've gathered from your travels, as well as miniature hair care products. Make sure to offer it organic vegan food options and make sure to play only music from bearded indie musicians. And if you do everything correctly, then you should end up with a fully grown mustachio plant like this. And now you can fill all of your mustache related needs. So today I taught you how to grow mustaches. Um, and so you're probably like, Taylor, what about beards? Well, beards are grown exactly the same way, except they have to go outside. Instead of a little potted plant, they have to go outside in a beard garden. That's how they get the sort of mountain man, untamed, wiry look to them. Otherwise, you can use the same techniques that I used here. So if you like this video, then feel free to give it a like or a curt nod of approval and leave a comment with a suggestion of what you'd like to see in next week's How To Stay. So thank you guys so much and I will see you in the next video. Bye! Bye! Whoa! Oh god! <laughs>